One of the prize objects in the Museum of the American Revolution's collection is something you probably have never seen in person. It lives in storage because it's so fragile. It's the personal flag or standard of General George Washington. It's beautiful blue silk with 13 six-pointed white stars. The museum's Washington Standard Project began in 2022. It was an effort to recreate the phases of the flag's construction. Bet Silvershack is a weaver in King of Prussia, Pennsylvania, right outside of Philadelphia. She has an amazing collection of hand looms to create textile art. To make the Washington Standard fabric, which is silk, we needed a very fine silk yarn. Silvershack used this to warp her looms, lining up many, many rows of fine silk yarn, and then wove the lengths of silk by hand, passing a shuttle with a spool of silk thread back and forth, controlling the direction of the warp threads with her feet, adjusting the loom so that the silk was precisely the right width and even longer than we need for the final flag, so we have a little extra to experiment with. We took the undyed silk, the white fabric, and next we shipped it across the country to Bloomington, Indiana. My name's Roland Ricketts. Uh, I'm an artist and an indigo farmer and dyer. So I work with uh, traditional Japanese indigo that I grow and process here in Bloomington, Indiana. Our work is actually very, very similar to 18th century indigo dyeing as it was done in Japan. Um, and because the, uh, the, the plants that were used in Japan and Europe are different plants, my, my guess, my best guess is that they're actually very similar. The process that is used in Japan is a temperate region indigo process, and the process that was used in Europe historically with the plant woad, which is another indigo bearing plant, is also a temperate region plant. And they would actually do something very similar where the woad would be composted to concentrate the dye that's found in its leaves and then it would be mixed with a uh, wood ash lye um, as an alkaline to uh, create a fermentation vat. So although the, um, the plant source of the color is different, I think that the process is, is possibly very similar. We wanted to imagine what this flag looked and felt like when it was new. So we worked with a team of really amazing makers to have the silk hand woven, indigo dyed and eventually constructed into a complete flag. 